Okay, now we're gonna get to do Taurus. This is gonna be I Spy for Cross Watcher. Again, keep in mind that energy is fluid. It could be the Cross Watcher that I'm actually reading for. And it's just coming out as Taurus because you're close to it, you know what I mean? Be anybody that you're close to and Taurus in your life. Um, but we're going to take a look into Taurus's life. Whether it is you or the Taurus itself. Hi, stop. Sorry. The uh, Poseidon Paul. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Now. Anyways, we're just gonna get started. Fix the shit, cause that's annoying. All right, at the bottom we have strength. So they're going through something in their mind right now, feeling like they have the strength to push on. Something's been illuminated. Um, they could have heavy Leo in their chart. Um, let's see. I do not take reversals into this. This is nostalgia, thinking about the past. This Ty, go to your room. If you're not gonna be quiet, go to your room. No, leave it out here. Go. The side and Paul. Sorry. Um, being nostalgic, um, possibly over a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, this is letting their emotions flow through. This is a lot of emotion, actually. Intuition. Um, this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is also the mothering energy. I don't know if this is a female that I am, a Taurus that I am actually getting in the midst of this. But this is them um, taking on their own energy as well as have feeling their emotions, you know what I mean? This is the wheel turning. Um, I believe the wheel is the uh, fixed signs, Aquarius, Leo, uh, Scorpio, and Taurus. So Taurus is in here twice, three times. So they're really in their energy. Um, if this is, this could be um, somebody dealing with two people as well, one an earth sign and one a water sign. Feeling single and happy. This is having your finances together, creating their own abundance. Like, um, not being codependent in any way shape or form or there's solid roots here um yeah there's messages gonna be coming your way whether it be for the cross watcher or not you might be the one messaging while they're like in this single and happy mood like I can take care of myself it's gonna take a lot of strength for this person though for the Taurus that I'm locked on to to actually message you they because they see that you're stable on your own either that or you see that this Taurus is stable on their own but there's a soul tie here. Um, maybe it got to where this felt, uh, this soul tie felt like a burden. This is also a choice between lovers. So they might have, they might be deciding on a fire sign. 
Aries Leo Sagittarius this is talking coming with a, uh, an apology or a gift this is making a decision to be confident com confident be confident basically like wallowing in your self-worth type of thing uh, this is the three of wands waiting so you're this person is waiting to release burdens I don't know if they're dealing with multiple people or they're coming up with this energy of being in their emotion using their intuition being a better mother working on their finances but this is change right here uh, here's the temperance uh, this is a card for Sagittarius. We got uh, Gemini, Leo, Leo. So they might have heavy Leo in their chart. But this is healing, balance. They're waiting on all this burden to stop. So they can just find their peace of mind. And this is what they're manifesting is to just let go. That's the infinity sign on both. So they're kind of just wanting to find their zen right now yeah wanting to travel um again this is finding that peace within you as well as um moving forward w with what you want but they don't know what they want there's night nine okay they're moving quick this is this could be someone at a distance from you actually cross watcher you might be wanting to travel towards this person or this person wants to travel towards you maybe there's a pregnancy involved at some point or this is just them feeling that self-care self-love maybe you are part of that self-love and they actually want to grow with you But again, there's a choice between lovers, someone that's more stable in their money and somebody who brings that emotion. This is moving to calmer waters. Probably, I don't know if there's Cancer or Sagittarius here as well. But this is moving to calmer waters. Possibly, let's see. Oh, they're feeling left out in the cold. You could have, again, a Gemini, Cancer, Sagittarius, Leo, uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. And Leo again. Heavy on the Leo. Somebody's got a lot of fire in their chart. This is moving forward to calmer waters, coming quickly with communication, whether it's harsh, harsh or just wanting to talk and get things worked out quickly because there's some sort of court case. Maybe you guys had issues in the fucking past and there was a fight possibly about money or having too many options. Um, yeah, they felt like it was a competition for you yeah and there was no equal give and take or they just want equal give and take out of the situation this might also be them giving money like helping people out at the same time persevering kind of staying in their own little bubble but yeah Okay. They're getting into their fire energy, thinking about commitment, thinking about happiness. They're kind of going in their head and like feeling like it's them against the world. But they're trying to decide on whether or not to balance this out. They, hold on. Okay, sorry. Um, 
I have a feeling that this is a masculine energy that they're dealing with. Um, they're going either that or they're going into their fire energy where it's like I'm cocky, I'm confident. It could come, sometimes come off as arrogance if there's too much of it, but they're a very passionate person. Um, this is wanting to build, build a family. So they're deciding whether or not to stay on their own and conquer it by themselves or to come forward with this communication after this fight. And actually, because there's, this is like going forward with your emotional fulfillment. This is happy life, happy life and building and they're wondering whether or not they should talk and actually plant these seeds so it's either they have a decision between two people or somebody that they see as very stable very motherly um how, where's their emotions on the sleeve very intuitive this is all over commitment so they're trying to balance themselves out beforehand yeah there was smoke and mirrors here and somebody that they were either dealing with or they are very intuitive it's also the mistress card so there might have been again someone on the side there's a lot of people here though heartbreak Tower, yeah, walking away. Okay, well, I don't know. We are a cross watcher, but this motherfucking Taurus is feeling the pain. Like they're done. They're walking away for now. Yeah, walking away from commitment. Maybe they were married already and decided to walk away from their significant other for you yeah because there's a new beginning here but it's causing a lot of insecurities so maybe they have a commitment already or they're already dealing with someone and they don't want to just throw caution to the wind because they're feeling insecure about it but they do want a new beginning they don't want to lose what they have going on right now over something again well i just did a reading like that the other day um they don't want to lose it all either that or maybe they feel like you're walking away so they feel like they can't have a new beginning so they're kind of resting up right now yeah going within somebody's being manipulative about work as well Oh, or being manipulative about working on themselves. Yeah, here we go. This is Taurus's energy. Sorry about the kids, they're loud. But it seems to me they're battling with finances, wanting new love. Shit. Okay. Could have Aquarius in their chart as well as Aries, Scorpio. But this is. It might be same sex as well too. Either that or there's a perfect pair here. The King of Cups in reverse is actually pretty manipulative. But we have like everybody here, all the signs. Aquarius. There's love, there's hope for love. Like their money, uh, they're focused on their money right now, very loyal, but they're kind of thinking about cutting off someone. If this is their energy, either that or they feel there is a lot of people here, so maybe they feel like you each have someone. Or this is feeling like this is the perfect match. Like there's the king and queen of pentacles and then there's the king and queen of cups. And I saw the 
queen of wands earlier so this is like if this is just two people this is a power couple like powerhouse in general and this is coming up with a slow moving offer the knight of pentacles was at the bottom of the deck so it's not it's an offer of love but it's also a very stable beginning a very stable foundation this is putting their roots where they need to be. This is coming out with communication and planting seeds. This is coming out of conflict, going to smoother waters, but because they're hurt right now, they're ready to walk away, but they, again, they feel, yep, power couple. But there's also toxicity here. So whether it be, yeah, which causes it to be stagnant. So both of you are in your head. Both of you have your guards up. Both of you holding back emotions, finances, celebration. Y'all both want to take this, but there's this, like this is borderline, like if it's, feeling like there's too much competition or whatnot this is someone with a sex addiction I see because of the amount of people here if it's not a power couple um with the ten of swords the three of pentacles there could be a third party but I think you guys are or this tours and you guys sorry but this I see is both of you at the bottom so you guys are taking it slow yeah y'all are wanting to reconcile but both of you feel as if there are more people here than since I'm so confused about it I kind of feel like it's somebody's insecurities like there's a feeling that there's people like you have people Taurus has people but in all actuality it's just this obsessively be feeling insecure and hurt maybe you guys have done it to each other in the past and now it's one of those guilt trips or the guilt ridden type of situation like you guys could be a power couple but there's so much insecurities on both sides and you guys are doing your own thing right now Taurus is doing their own thing and I feel like you are too cross watcher but you guys are obsessively thinking about how it ended what happened to make it end in the past and I think you need to forgive yourself and the people around you the people involved and actually move forward like somebody needs to be the bigger person here because this could actually be a pretty good match if you guys get out of your heads all right I'll talk to you later guys